Welcome back. Now we're ready to talk about the third piece of the puzzle of the life-saving mission. And that third piece of the puzzle is also very important, and that's adoption. And adoption, without adoption, what are we going to do with all these animals <laughs> no. that we've saved? I mean, that, you know? that, you're absolutely right, Cheryl. I mean, the, the truth is, is that we're, we're investing all this time, energy, effort into these animals, and we are saving their lives. But people need to come in then, and they need to adopt from the shelter. Right. More people need to adopt from shelters. Right. Um, I think, I don't know what the percentage is. I don't know if you do, but it's a very low percentage. The number of animals that are in ho households. It's about 25%. 25% right. of the animals that are currently in homes come from shelters. Right. We need to get that average of 25% sure. of adoptions sure. up. And well, and, the, and Cheryl, you know, nationally, if people would go to their local shelters and adopt, um, euthanasia rates would drop dramatically. They would, I mean, that would be another, we said it, it's another piece of the puzzle, but truthfully, um, people would be saving lives. Right, and I think it's important to know, you know, sometimes people don't go to shelters because they think that it's used goods or mm -hmm. they're not gonna find a quality animal. And when I walk the halls here and I see the wonderful animals that we have up for adoption and, and the purebred dogs that we see and the sure. beautiful cats, um, it's like they didn't get the care, they didn't get the chance the first time around, and, right. and this is their second chance. Sure. And you can find some really great animals when you when you go to the They're, animal shelter. You know, and that's kind of a, a you know that that's an old myth from years gone by that you know um, shelter animals. There's got to be something wrong with them. The truth of the matter is is that we're a full service shelter, Cheryl, and and we have tremendously wonderful fantastic animals um, that that come out of our shelter and um, you know people who adopt from us you know they tell us over and over again best dog I've ever had best right. cat I've ever had yeah. you know and, and we hear this repetitively you know right. so so and, and there's the fact nothing. that we're also a great resource center when, sure. if a dog does have you know isn't house trained we can give you the tools sure. to work with that sure. house training or you have <clears throat> you want to know about uh, nail caps or sure. scratching in your cat. We're, we're a great resource for that. Well, and, and let's talk about the fact that, you know, adopting from a shelter, in particular, we can speak for our own, but adopting from the shelter, it's, it's a it's a deal. I mean, you know, you're not going to find a better price for you, a better bang for your buck right. than from a shelter. Because, I mean, you know, truly, people coming in and adopting kittens, you know, they can adopt a kitten uh, for $50, get a second one for $10, spay, neuter, feline, leukemia test, a free exam, uh, worm, distemper vaccinations, all these wonderful things. And that, that would cost you well over, to, what, 200 to $500 at, exactly. a, at a veterinarian You know, clinic. so, and, and the same thing applies to dogs. I mean, it's just, you know, it's, it's a tremendous um, value for anybody who um, knows, you know, who have ever had an animal before, I mean, there is a there is considerable cost associated to right. um, having a pet, and obviously, initially, you know, when you bring a new pet home, uh, that cost can be quite significant. Right. Right. So, and so, how do we increase those adoptions? And I'm going to share with you, Joni, what what we've been doing on our end. One of the things is. We're, gonna, we're trying to get out there in the community and kind of toot our own horn a little bit sure. more and let people know, hey, we're here, and we have some wonderful animals. Please come and adopt them. Come, come and visit them. Mm -hmm. Come and visit our shelter. I can't tell you how many people still have not seen this building, and we've been here five years now. Mm -hmm. It's going on five years. And um, this past summer, we held our kitten paloozas. We went to the YMCA and uh, took a lot of our cats right there to the YMCA and set it up and had people come in and adopt that very same day. We've uh, revamped our uh, adoption application. We're trying to turn things around in 24 to 48 hours so that people, you know, when you want to get a pet, you want to get a pet. Right. And um, But we still have to go through some of that. You know, we want to make sure that it's it, a it good does, match. Sure. Um, we want to take into consideration everybody that's involved in the family, current pets, and the pet that you're adopting. So we still need to do that, but we're we're trying to streamline that procedure so that we can make it happen quicker. Right. Um, we're putting ads in the newspaper uh, at a minimum. We're advertising through um, Facebook and our website and. If there's any way that we can get the word out, we're going to get the word out there to try to um, sure. get people and, to adopt. And one of the things that, you know, like 
that is part of the life-saving mission is not necessarily, you know, if people don't necessarily want to come here to see these animals, they can do that in the events that you were talking about, Cheryl. Correct. And so we're trying to take the animals out to them. And, and you said it yourself, when you have foster homes, the neighbors find out about it. That's one way that people can come and visit those animals. So, you know, there's all kinds of great ways that we're, we're trying to explore and to open up those avenues so that people, you know, get to view our animals and, and uh, have an opportunity to adopt. And will adopt. Right. And, and so I think that completes our puzzle. Mm -hmm. um, so along with the shelter, if you can find it in your heart to donate, to maybe be a part of foster care, or come and adopt an animal uh, and be a part of the life-saving mission, um, you can save lives along with the Oshkosh Area Humane Society and together we can make a really big difference for all the animals in our community. Yep. And uh, so we'd like to thank you for joining us today and until next time, happy, happy tales, tales to you. you.